Deer Mouse at Old Farm Road. Deer Mouse at Old Farm Road. It is late afternoon in July, and the sweet smell of flowers and freshly mowed lawns fills the warm air while daisies sway in the breeze behind the pale yellow house on Old Farm Road. A sugar bush of maple shades the yard and keeps it cool. Hidden in the hollow of the trees, Deer Mouse is busy preparing the nest for her soon-to-be-born babies. Deer Mouse lines her nest with the softest materials she can find. Moist green grass, plant down, and silky dandelion seeds. When her babies are born, she will cover the opening of her nest to keep her family safe and warm. But for now, the nest is finished and she is tired from all her hard work. She settles down to sleep. Hours later, when the moonless sky is pitch black, Deer Mouse awakens. A chorus of wood frogs ring through the night. This is the time Deer Mouse likes best. She is ready to go out into the cold darkness to get her dinner. Deer Mouse scurries headfirst down the tree trunk with her long hairy tail stretched behind for balance. She climbs over the stone wall that borders the woods as she walks across the backyard. Blades of grass tickle her round white belly. Near the back porch, Deer Mouse spots a bird feeder hanging from a young dogwood. The chickadees who, are f who ate from the feeder earlier today have left seeds scattered on the lawn. It is the perfect snack for Deer Mouse. Perched on her two hind legs, Deer Mouse, Deer Mouse delicately hold holds the sunflower seed with her front claws. Using her sharp teeth, her sharp front teeth, she shells the seed and swallows it. Then she eats another and another, one at a time, until they are all gone. Deer Mouse is not aware that a tomcat has been watching her every move. The cat is crouched down low, hidden between a dense bush and the back wall of the house, ready to pounce on her. Do you guys see him? He's hiding. Deer Mouse licks her front feet and washes her face with them. She cleans behind her paper thin ears and works her way down to her pointy nose. As she brings her feet back to her mouth, she freezes. She hears a rustling sound coming from behind the bush. The tiny leaves on the bush move so ever slightly. There is definitely something hiding there. It's moved a little. Deer Mouse lets out a long, shrill buzz to scare the unknown pest away. But the bush remains still. No animals flee. Like a drummer, Deer Mouse rapidly thumps her pink, soled feet on the dry leaves. The cat watches the strange dance for a moment this, before creeping forward and peeking his head out from behind the bush. When Deer Mouse sees the giant cat, she runs as fast as she can. She darts halfway up the stone wall and into a small, dark hole between the two stones. The cat reaches the wall and pokes his nose into the hiding spot. He sniffs and sniffs again. His keen sense of smell tells him Deer Mouse is indeed in this hole. Deer Mouse's shiny black eyes stare at him in fear. With a fat orange paw, the cat reaches into the hole and swats at Deer Mouse. She howls in the far back corner. The cat's pointy claws, claws wave in front of Deer Mouse's face. Over and over again, the paw comes close, but it can't quite reach her. That cat pulls out his paw and sniffs in the hole again. Frustrated, he tries stretching his paw in even further. Deer Mouse is too far back for him to reach. Defeated, the cat walks slowly back into the house. Deer Mouse peeks out between the rocks. The cat is gone. It is safe to come out and let the fireflies out. Deer Mouse pulls herself out of the hole and climbs to the wooded side of the wall. She walks along the edge, finding food along the way. In the pouches of her cheeks, she collects a variety of goodies, carpenter ants, berries, part of a fallen crab apple. She will eat some now and bring some back to her nest for later. Deer Mouse creeps into the woods. In the distance, an owl hoots. She stops beside the trunk of a large tree and listens. If the owl sees Deer Mouse, 
Dear Mouse, he will surely make a meal out of her. The owl lets out another cry. He's far away, deep in the woods. Dear Mouse is not in danger, so she continues walking. Most nights, Dear Mouse stays out until dawn, but tonight is different. She's going to have her babies very soon. She will go home early. It will be easy to get lost among all the giant trees surrounding her, but Dear Mouse knows exactly which one she lives in. She quickly climbs the tree. In the early hours of the morning before dawn, Dear Mouse gives birth to seven tiny mice. They are reddish pink, hairless, and have no teeth. Their eyes are sealed shut in a tight, rubbery ball. They snuggle up to Dear Mouse's warm belly. In only a few days, the babies will open their eyes. Their small bodies will be covered with soft fur. They will be ready to go out into the night to get their own food and before long to have their own families. But for now, Deer Mouse will guard them and wash them and keep them warm in the nest behind the pale yellow house on Old Farm Road. The end. Cook.